What's going on guys? Welcome to Tucson. I'm back here finally after like four years of not being here. So crazy nostalgia, just driving around, seeing everything. I was about to head to practice. I'm at actually the gas station that's just down the road from the track. And I just was thinking as I pulled up here to get some water that I don't have any tape. So I searched the whole van. I'm in a minivan, by the way. You gotta see this thing. <laughs> just playing around. Yeah, so now I gotta go back to my hotel. I've got a bunch of rolls of tape there, so going to get my tape, going back, and I don't have a tripod, so I'm gonna try to rig something up. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out. Hopefully I can record this practice, show you some cues that I've been working on, and drop some bombs. I'll see you guys in a bit. One roll, two rolls. Three rolls. All right, we got the tape, back to practice. All right, gonna be going on to stand throws, and the thing that I've been working on on the finish is just trying to basically get my arm a lot more up. Um, a lot of the times I do drills where I'm thinking, coming from my chest, and I just want to think about getting it up. It's not actually gonna be that high. Hopefully somewhere in between, but that way I get a nice uh, flight on it, nice like, angle of release, and it goes further. Just make sure I'm not pulling off the finish. Um, just getting that arm nice and tall. And those are the two things that I'm working on. We've got meat day coming up, so I don't want to change too much my technique, but uh, the last couple of practices I've been really thinking about getting that arm up. It's been helping a lot, so let's keep it going. All right, the other thing I'm really trying to think about that's been helping by getting my arm up is the snap out of my hand. So just on all my throws, just continue to think about getting my arm up and snap it out of my fingers uh, rather than you know, twisting or doing something weird that I tend to do. So. Up, snap, don't pull off. Alright, moving on to reverse stand throw. When I get to reverses, I have the tendency to want to pull off even more because I'm trying to jump. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid that as much as I can. Just continue to get that arm up, snap it out of my hand. All right, so I'm gonna move on to half turns. Sand throws actually felt really good. Felt like I was getting up with it. Felt like I was snapping it on my hand decent. I won't really know how much I was pulling off until I watch it back when I'm editing because I have a hard time feeling it in the first place, which I think is one of the big reasons why I do it. But uh, yeah, half turns, same thing. Um, kind of like do the more like South Africans with a little step into the middle, into the half turn. But just thinking, open up big, up on the finish, snap out of my hand. back to a Krauser-ish mindset out of the back, trying to just be long and patient uh, here and waiting until I get to this South African position that's helped my timing, helped my finish, helped the release angle and everything. So I'm gonna continue to try to work on that. Biggest problem was pausing in the middle, so just gotta keep, keep turning through everything. I'll have to watch that and see what's going on. All right, my first movement in the last throw was dropping my hip in, so try to keep my hips underneath me again. Um, because dropping will, first of all, I don't want to drop the hip in, but dropping the hip in caused me to jump too far to the middle, which made me kind of crowded at the toe board, and I was a little bit blocked off too, so by keeping my hip underneath me, staying nice and tall, not dropping that hip back right away, I can get a bit more room, get my foot a bit more open, so I can finish the throw better. better just got to find that direction uh, getting more power into the throwing direction 
hips underneath me out of the back, nice and tall in the middle. And just kind of find that South African position where I'm getting up on the finish and getting into the throwing direction. Alright, I went over to the right, which in all the meets when I watch my videos, same thing happening. Um, just really pulling off, kind of coming across my body, so I need to keep the ball in its orbit and find it up and into the throwing direction rather than across my body because I'm losing power when I do that. I don't kind of felt weird out of the back, like I was diving a bit too much to the middle. Um, but it felt like I had good direction, but then it felt like it was too flat, so. Taller out of the back, try to find that same direction, but just lift it a bit more. better through the ring just felt so flat just gotta find that I'm gonna break it down again and go back to really thinking about that South African feeling throw uh, because that helps me get it up on the finish so break it down go back to that because once I start getting away from it it's easy to start to mess some things up Shutting it down, I think. All right, overall, pretty pleased with today. Um, feeling some good things. I'm really liking that tempo through the ring of trying to keep it like the South African feeling. It just helps me break it down, make it simple, and find that position where I'm getting a bit better stretch and a bit better lift on the finish. So really pleased with that. Out of the back, trying to be a bit more patient and longer. Um, I felt like I wasn't hitting it today the same that I was the other day in practice. Um, would have been Sunday on practice I was throwing and felt really good out of the back and I just like didn't have that same timing today um, as I'm editing I'll be watching it and paying attention to what I was doing maybe I'll try to put something in but we'll see if I did or not but I got to meet two meets actually this weekend there's a Thursday meet and a Saturday meet so I've got an opportunity to throw shot and disc on both of those days so that's one of my favorite styles of meet because it's the small groups of people you've got your six throws and you've got two opportunities in each event to do it so really good chance to hit some good throws uh, the weather here is always like pretty warm pretty sunny and just about no wind and I love pretty much no wind for discus that's my ideal uh, throwing condition because wind starts to get in my head a little bit but really excited anyway thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if you really enjoyed it subscribe for more I'll be back very soon with another one take it easy